Hi, welcome to machine learning tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to design AND gate using perceptron training rule. In the previous video, I have discussed how perceptron training rule works and how to design logical OR gate using perceptron training rule. The link for the video is given in the description below. This is the true table of AND gate. A and B are the logical inputs. Whenever the value of A and B is set to 1, the output of AND gate is 1. In all other cases, the output is 0. To design a perceptron net training rule, we need to have two weights associated with uh, A and B. W1 is set to 1.0 and W2 is set to 0.6 in this case. The threshold is 1 and the learning rate is 0.5. Now we will consider the first example. The first example contains A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0 and target is 0. Now we need to calculate the summation term that is WIXI. Here W1 is uh, 1.2 and XI that is A is equal to 0. W2 is equal to 0.6 and the next input XI is uh, 0 again. So the final answer is 0. The output of summation is 0, which is not greater than the threshold value 1. Hence, the output is 0. The actual output calculated is 0 and the target is 0. Because both of them are same, there is no need of weight updation. We will consider the next example. The next example is A equals to 0, B equals to 1 and target is 0. Again, we will calculate the summation term that is 0 into 1.2 plus 1 into 0.6, which is equivalent to 0.6. This summation term is not greater than threshold value. Hence, the output is 0. The actual output is 0 and the target output is 0. Again, there is no need of weight modification. We will consider the third example. In the third example, A is set to 1 and B is set to 0, the target is 0. Again, we calculate the summation term that is 1 into 1.2 plus 0 into 0.6, which is equivalent to 1.2. 1.2 is greater than threshold value, hence the output is 1. The actual output is 1, but the target is 0. Because the target and actual output are different, we need to modify the weights. The weights are modified using the perceptron training rule that is wi is always equivalent to wi plus n into t minus o into xi. W, in the first case, w1 is equivalent to 1.2 because uh, w1 is 1.2 in the first case. Learning rate is 0.5. Target output is 0 and the actual output what we got is 1 and xi that is a in this case is 1. So once you solve this equation we will get w1 is equivalent to 0.7. Similarly w2 is equivalent to w2 that is 0.6 plus n that is uh, 0.5 t minus o that is 0 minus 1 and xi that is b is equivalent to 0 here. Once you solve it you will get the weight as 0.6. These are the two modified weights Previously, the weights are 1.2 and 0.6. Now, W1 is 0.7 and W2 is 0.6. Now, we need to start from the first example so that we can check whether these two weights classify these examples correctly or not. So, now, the modified weights are 0.7 and 0.6 respectively. Threshold is 1, learning rate is 0 0.5. The first example is A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0 and target is 0. First we calculate the summation term 0 into 0.7, 0 into 0.6 which is equal to 0. 0 is not greater than threshold, hence the output is 0. The target is 0, actual output is 0, there is no need of weight updation. We go with the next example where A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1 and target is 0. 0 into 0.7 plus 1 into 0.6 which is equivalent to 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is not greater than threshold value hence the output is 0. Output is 0 
target is zero no need of weight updation the next example is a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and target is equal to 0 again the summation term is 1 into 0 0.7 plus 0 into 0 0.6 which is equal to 0 0.7 0 0.7 is not greater than threshold value hence the output is equal to 0 the target is 0 and the actual output is 0 no need of weight updation we consider the last example where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and target is equal to 1 here the summation term is 1 into 0 0.7 plus 1 into 0 0.6 which is equal to 1.3 1.3 is greater than threshold hence the output is 1 the actual output is 1 and the target is 1 because they are same again there is no need of weight updation we have classified all the training examples correctly with w1 is equal to 0.7 w2 is equal to 0.6 threshold as 1 and the learning rate as 0.5 hence these are the final learned parameters with respect to and gate for the perceptron training rule this is the final perceptron network for and gate where a and b are the inputs 0.7 and 0.6 are the weights with respect to a and b respectively with the threshold as 1 I hope you understood how can we design the perceptron training rule for hind gate. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.